If you could sum up your day and the life of a CRNA, what would it be? Um, I think the day in the life of a CRNA starts early in the morning because obviously most surgeries are done early, so we're usually at the hospital by 6.15, 6.30. Um, and it varies depending on the shift that you're working. Remember, we're still nurses, so we still work shifts. Hospitals, most hospitals don't close at 3 o'clock. So um, most CRNAs will specialize in an area, whether it be cardiovascular, pediatrics, orthopedics, um, stuff like that. But in school, you're trained to do it all. And I've continued to do it all. I do a lot of cardiovascular. So I would get there at 6.30, 6.15, find out what cases I'm doing that day, um, prepare for those cases, find out about the patients, um, and tailor the anesthetics to those patients. And like a nurse, you continue to take care of those patients until somebody can come in and relieve you. So if it's if I'm supposed to be off at three and there's not somebody to relieve me, it could be five, it could be seven. Um, but again, you're caring for that patient. You can't walk away. Um, do I love what I do? Absolutely, I wouldn't change it. Um, most days you're not there late. It's coordinated so that it gets you out relatively on time. But again, you're, you're caring for the patient in an advanced practice role, so you do what it takes as long as it takes. Okay, perfect. What was your, like, the most benefits from your job? I think the most benefits from the job is just, as a CRNA, you see almost instant gratification because you take a patient and it's very ill, needs a critical procedure done, you allow them to rest comfortably while the surgeon does the procedure, and at the end, seeing the reward of that patient or maybe a day or two later when you do a post-op visit, seeing that patient improving, doing well, more comfortable maybe when they left the operating room than they were when they came in. So a lot of it's great that way. Um, but just the challenges too. Um, and when little things go awry that you may not expect, knowing how to deal with it and, and seeing the change in the patient back to a normal, more normal state, soon after. Yeah, so would your biggest challenges be like when something unexpected comes along? Absolutely. Or? Anesthesia has been described as 90% um, boredom with mixed in with 10% sheer terror. And that sheer terror comes in when those things don't go as you anticipate. So absolutely, that's something you have to plan for, but hope never occurs, and you just hope for that smooth day. But yeah, but you're prepared and you're trained to do that. That's part of the training. Perfect. And if you could sum up the image of nursing into one word, what would your be? Your uh, one word? Oh, that's tough. <laughs> um, I would say in one word, uh, vigilance. I think we have to be vigilant, whether we be on a med search floor, um, I almost want to say vigilant slash caring because you have to be both. You can't ever take the caring out of nursing. But if you're not vigilant and watching and anticipating the worst, then the worst can happen. Um, so you, even in those sheer boredom times when you're sitting at the desk and maybe nothing's happening with your patients and it's three o'clock in the morning, you you've got to be you've got to get up. You've got to walk around. Well, in anesthesia. You can't get caught up in the conversations that are going on in the operating room. You're there to make sure that patient is safe. So, you know, vigilance slash caring. I'm going to fit two words there. Of course. But, Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. I'm glad to help. I can't wait for our talk. Oh, good. I'm glad.